Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? Buenos días, buenas tardes y buenas noches. No importa la hora que sea, siempre es un gran momento para aprender español con Profesor Pablo. All right, before and after, antes y después, that is our lesson. Look at the board. There's a lot of clusters. There's a lot going on with before and after. We're going to take it cluster by cluster and get this thing figured out. First of all, you see we have antes and después. We're going to learn that antes de and después de is what we use when we follow it with a noun or an infinitive. We're going to practice that. When you use it with a noun, like say before school, antes de, you're going to go antes de la escuela. You're going to use the article, the el, the la, the los, or the los. And remember the de and the el contract to form del. So before the race, antes de la carrera, right? Before the election, antes de la elección. Antes de la cena, before dinner. So we're going to look at antes de and después de, followed by a noun and followed by an infinitive. We're going to learn that when you follow by an infinitive in English, it's ing. Before running, antes de correr. In Spanish, we got to go infinitive. Verb number zero. In English, it's an ing. After eating, después de comer. So we're going to look at these clusters here. Then we're going to take antes de que plus a conjugated verb. So if you say like, before I got home, before it starts raining, before I get to school today, I need to do this. Uh, before we leave this morning, I want to eat a good breakfast. Before plus a conjugated verb, you're going to find out it's an 89er. You can use either present subjunctive or past subjunctive, whether or not you're referring to something in the present or future or the past. Remember, there are only three time frames, unless I missed one along the way. There's the present, which we're trapped in. That's where we live. We plan for the future, think of the future, and remember the past. So present, past, and future are our three time frames. So we're going to look at antes de que with a conjugated verb, and it's going to have to be an 89 or a subjunctive, either present or past subjunctive. Now, después de que, we've got two major clusters. Después de que plus something that hasn't happened yet, like after I graduate from college, after I get home tonight, after I call you, after I earn enough money. If you're talking about after plus something that has not happened yet, we're going to find out that we're going to go with the verb number eight present subjunctive, okay? If you're using después de que, after, plus something that never happened, you're going to go with verb number nine. For example, your plans were to graduate from college. You never did. Después de que me graduara. After I earned a million dollars. Después de que yo ganara un millón de dólares. Un momento. Necesito agarrar el palo caído. Gracias. Okay, so después de que can be another 89er. You can use the present subjunctive if you're talking about something that has not happened yet, or you can use the past subjunctive if you're talking about something that never happened. All right, now let's drop down here to our final cluster. Después de que, okay, how do we do that? It says you can use verb numbers three, four, or five which are present tense, preterite, and imperfect. Those are indicative. Those are non-subjunctive, okay? You're going to use verb number three, which is a present tense. If you're talking about what happens all the time, like after I get home, después de que llego a la casa, after I go to bed, después de que me acuesto, after I read a book, después de que leo un libro. If you want to say después de que and follow it by something that you always do or always happens, something that happens, it's going to be present tense, baby, innocent, very innocent as a baby. If you're talking about something that happened, like a one-time thing, like after we won the game, después de que ganamos el partido, we went somewhere. Um, after it rained, después de que llovió, salimos a jugar. After it rained, we went out to play. After they got married, they moved to Minnesota. Después de que se casaron, se mudaron a Minnesota. And then finally, Después de que can be followed by imperfect, number five, if you're talking about something that always happened, like in the past, like 
talking about elementary school. After I would get home, I would watch cartoons. Después de que llegaba a la casa de la escuela, miraba las caricaturas en la televisión. Okay? After I would eat, I used to like to take a nap. Después de que comía, me gustaba tomar una siesta. So before and after, it's beautiful. And now we can do it all because, again, how many times did I tell you advanced Spanish is simply littered with present and past subjunctive? Something as basic as saying, before I get to your house, I need to stop by the bank. That's so basic in English, but in Spanish, to be able to do it, you need the present subjunctive. Before I get to your house, antes de que llegue, with a G-U-E, antes de que llegue a tu casa, necesito ir al banco. I need to go to the bank. Okay? If you're talking about something that never happened, like last weekend we were going to take a trip, but the weather didn't cooperate. Um, after we got to the beach, we were going to have a bonfire. Después de que llegáramos a la playa, íbamos a tener una fogata, una hoguera, una fogata. But it never happened, right? Después de que llegáramos. All right, so we got a lot of clusters. Let's go here. Antes and después. If someone says to you, uh, we're going to go to the store. Vamos a ir a la tienda. And there's some other place that you're planning to go. And so you want clarification. You say, vamos a la tienda antes o después. Before or after. So antes o después. It's so simple, right? Antes. You could just say antes, before. After, después. Little kid asked mom, ¿Cuándo, cuándo, cuándo, cuándo vamos a ir a, com a comprar helados? When are we going to go buy some ice cream? She says después, later on. Después can mean after, but it can also mean later on or later. Después. Okay? Antes, before, después is after. Antes de plus noun and después de plus infinitive. Let's go with a noun. Before school would be antes de la escuela. Before a test would be antes de un examen. Un examen, a test, okay? Before vacation, antes de las vacaciones. Before the race, antes de la carrera. Before the game, antes del partido. Before the party, we need to make a lot of plans. Antes de la fiesta, tenemos que preparar mucho. Tenemos que hacer muchos planes. Antes de la fiesta. Okay? So if you want to say before and follow it with a noun, you're going to use the day phrase. Now, we had un uh, before a test, antes de un examen. If you want to say uh, before a party, antes de una fiesta. But basically, you're going to go with antes de plus your noun, and you're going to use one of del, de la, de los or de las, right? Before the movie, antes de la película. Before the trip, viaje, antes del viaje. Before the wedding, antes de la boda. Before the war, there was peace. Antes de la guerra, había paz. All right, antes de plus infinitive. In English, it's ing. In Spanish, it is infinitive. Verb number zero. Before leaving, antes de salir. Before sleeping, antes de dormir. Before eating, antes de comer. Before running, antes de correr. Before signing a document, antes de firmar un documento. Before watching a movie, antes de ver una película. Before dancing, antes de bailar. Okay? Now, let's take después de plus a noun. After school, después de la escuela. After the race, después de la carrera. After the trip, después del viaje. After church, después de la iglesia. After the movie, después de la película. After the test, después del examen. Mm -hmm. That's how those work. Now, if you want to say after the test plural, like final exams, you would say después de los, de los, después de los exámenes finales. Now, let's go with después de and an infinitive, okay? After getting up in the morning, después de levantarme en la mañana, <clears throat> after <clears throat> doing exercises, 
después de hacer ejercicios, after eating, después de comer, after working, después de trabajar, after studying, después de estudiar, after driving, después de manejar. In English, it's ing. In Spanish, it's infinitive. Okay, this whole left side, we got it. Let's go here. Antes de que, plus a conjugated verb, must be verb number eight, present subjunctive, or verb number nine, past subjunctive. It's an 89er, an 89er. So just make up a phrase, right? Like, before I was born. Well, that's in the past, so we got to go past subjunctive. Antes de que yo naciera, the verb is nacer. How about you got a little niece to be, going to be born. You want to say before she's born, antes de que nazca, it is a ZC verb. How about before the game starts, antes de que el partido empiece, with a CE. Remember, present subjunctive, verb number eight is opposite vowel. Before we get to the beach, antes de que lleguemos a la playa. Before I graduate, antes de que me gradue. Before they get married, antes de que se casen. Before they got married, antes de que se casaran. Before I buy a car, antes de que yo compre un carro, estudio mucho. I study a lot. Mm -hmm. Before it happens, antes de que pase. Before it happened, antes de que pasara. Before you see it, antes de que lo veas. Before you saw it, antes de que lo vieras. Woo woo! Ladies and gentlemen, an 89er, that's what an 89er is all about. Can you handle an 89er? Can you put the verb in the present subjunctive? Can you put the verb in the past subjunctive? Well, I'll tell you what, we have spent a lot of time in many, many lessons working with eights and nines. And again, you're just going to keep getting better and better as we practice more. All right, let's jump over here to después de que plus something that hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. So después de que plus something that hasn't happened yet. So after I graduate, después de que me gradue, after I get married, después de que me case, you're kind of planning out your life. Uh huh. After I earn a million dollars, después de que gane un millón de dólares, after we win the championship, después de que ganemos el campeonato, after they get here, después de que lleguen, after it stops raining, después de que termine or pare de llover, um, after I find out, después de que lo sepa. Okay, there you go. Now, if you want to say after plus something that never happened, you're going to go with verb number nine. Um... After we won the championship, we didn't win it. <clears throat> Después de que ganáramos el campeonato. <clears throat> After I got to your house, I was going to blah, 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 blah. Después de que yo llegara a tu casa. After we had a million bucks. Después de que tuviéramos un millón de dólares, you were going to do something. This one is not used too often at all. Not too often at all. We point it out because it does exist. Now, let's go to our last cluster. Después de que, plus verb numbers three, four, and five. Three is the present, four is the preterite, five is the imperfect. If you want to say after, followed by something that you do all the time or always happens, that's just present tense. It's just innocent, right? After I get home, después de que llego a la casa. After I finish work, después de que termino de trabajar. After I eat, después de que como. Um, after I take a test, después de que tomo un examen. After we go to the beach, después de que vamos a la playa. If you want to talk about something that happened once, like after I got married, después de que me casé. After I bought my first house, después de que compré mi primera casa. After I saw the movie, después de que vi la película. After I bought my car, después de que compré mi carro, mi auto. After I talked to her, después de que hablé con ella. After we heard the explanation, después de que escuchamos la explicación. That would be preterite 
with this boy's decay. And our last one would be imperfect for something that happened all the time. Like after I would get home, I would always have a glass of milk. Después de que llegaba a la casa, siempre tomaba un vaso de leche. Uh, after I would get home, I would watch cartoons. Después de que llegaba a la casa, miraba las caricaturas. After I would take a test, I would go to the park to rest. Después de que tomaba un examen, siempre iba al parque para descansar. After I understood the lesson, I would always do well on the test. Después de que entendía la lección, siempre hacía bien en el examen. So we're taking these same eight, these same 10 billiard balls, if you will, billiard balls, right? Numbered from zero to nine, representing our verb numbers. They're on the table, they're on the piano, right? It's the same numbers that keep reappearing. When I say like, um, after I studied a lot, I would always do well on a test. That's a matchup in perfect. Five, five. Después de que estudiaba mucho, something I would always do, hacía bien en el examen. I would do well on the test, something I would always do. So let's go back and review and we'll wrap it up. If you just want to say before or after, antes or después. Después can mean later as well, right? Afterwards, después. We're going to go afterwards, later. Vamos después, we're going after, we're going before, vamos antes. Just simply before or after, antes, después. If someone says they're going somewhere después, and you want to say, no, 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 antes, antes, before. Very simple. If you want to say before or after plus a noun, you've got to use the day phrase, right? So before school, antes de la escuela, after church, Después de la iglesia. Before or after plus an infinitive, right? In English, it's ing. Before eating, antes de comer. After eating, después de comer. Conjugated verb after antes de que. 89er! You got an 89er, ladies and gentlemen. Can you do it? Yes! Yes! Si se puede. Okay. After we get there. No, I'm sorry, we're doing before. Uh, before we get there, antes de que lleguemos. Before we got there, antes de que llegáramos. Before she is born, antes de que nazca. Before she was born, antes de que naciera. Before it rains, antes de que llueva. Before it rained, antes de que lloviera. Before I leave, antes de que me vaya. Before I left, Antes de que me fuera. That is antes de que, a real 89er. And después de que, we've got three things to consider. Well, actually six. If you want to say after and follow it with something you haven't done, you have to go with the present subjunctive verb number eight. After I graduate. Después de que me gradué. I haven't graduated yet. If I want to say after I graduated, but it never happened, it would be después de que me graduara. Okay? Uh, if I want to say after it starts, después de que empiece. If I want to say after it started, but it never did start because of bad weather, después de que empezara. Over here, if you want to say after something that you do all the time, that's just present tense. After I read a book, después de que leo un libro. After I get home, después de que llego a la casa. After I study a lot, después de que estudio mucho. You can follow it with a preterite, one-time thing. After she was born, después de que nació. After they got married, después de que se casaron. After I graduated, después de que me gradué. And you can follow después de que after with the imperfect, number five, something that would always happen in the past, you would always do. After I would read a book, después de que leía un libro. After I would go to bed, después de que me acostaba. After I would get up, después de que me levantaba. After I finished a race, después de que terminaba una carrera. After I understood the lesson, después de que entendía la lección. So that's before and after. 
antes y después. Again, it's got the eight and the nine in there, okay? You're never gonna get to the advanced level of Spanish until you can handle the present and past subjunctive because it is everywhere. And think about how innocent a phrase is like, uh, I'll call you before I leave work. Te llamaré antes de que me vaya del trabajo, antes de que salga del trabajo. I'll call you before I leave. That's so innocent in English. But in Spanish, I'll call you could either be te llamo present tense, implying future, or the future itself, verb number six, te llamaré, okay, before, before I take off, antes de que me vaya. You see, you'll never get to antes de que me vaya until you understand how to do the 89ers, the eights and the nines, okay? And then, of course, we got our después de que. We just went over that. We've done our antes de que plus a conjugated verb, and we've reviewed these. So I think we're good with before and after. Let's keep practicing it. And again, practice in your mind. You don't have to go anywhere. In bed, sitting down, driving. Just practice some phrases in your head, right? And see if you can translate them from English to Spanish. It's as simple as that. Okay, gracias amigos. El gran futbolista argentino Lionel Messi. Gol, 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 gol. Gol! Argentina! Lionel Messi es un crack. The dude is amazing, right? Lionel Messi es increíble. I never use that word dude, but I just threw it out there, okay? Lionel Messi Un gran futbolista, ¿verdad? Argentino. Ok. Tengan un gran día. Salgan con los amigos. Vayan a cenar, a bailar, a escuchar música, ¿verdad? Y muy pronto regresamos aquí para tener más lecciones con, con su profesor. ¿Quién es su profesor? Soy yo, profesor Pablo. Ok. Los quiero mucho. Cuídense. Chao.